Here in New Orleans, the community and Briscoe Zulu brothers are in mourning. Today, the New Orleans Police Department and the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club honored the fallen officer. Candace Charles shares how he is being remembered. This tragic um, loss of um, Brother Everett Briscoe is rippling through our organization. Detective Everett Briscoe was a fixture in the New Orleans community, a NOPD officer and a member of the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club for seven years. With a big laugh and an even bigger personality, Briscoe was loved by everyone. Everett was, um, is a, is a, was a general giant. On Saturday, Briscoe took a trip to Houston with his Zulu brothers. We were all sitting across in the restaurant just smoking cigars and having a few drinks and laughing and joking. Across the street, Briscoe and Zulu member Dyron Rikufli were dining on the Galleria patio when two men allegedly tried to rob them. They told everybody to get on the ground and Edward got down and they saw his gun. And when they saw his gun, I think it made him panic. Both Rikufli and Briscoe were shot. Bristol didn't make it. In less than five minutes, I'm getting a call that telling me something tragic had occurred. Zulu Club President Elroy James said that's when the shock set in. His brother and friend of seven years was gone. Difficult day. Very, very difficult. At a press conference Sunday, Police Chief Sean Ferguson was visibly upset. You couldn't have a better po community police officer than every Briscoe. Chief Ferguson said Briscoe was working toward a degree in criminal justice. This cancer of senseless violence has to stop. A passionate plea coming from New Orleans Councilman Jay Banks. Though there are still so many unanswered questions, the community is already coming together to try and bring some peace to Briscoe's wife and two young sons. And we will ensure that Miss Briscoe and their boys Feel the love of this city. On Sunday evening, a huge crowd came out to celebrate the fallen officer's life. As you can see, how ever touched so many people out here today. Though 15 gentlemen got on that bus to Houston to celebrate brotherhood, only 13 came back. A relatively new member of the club with a big personality remains in Houston fighting for his life. He has a big fan club here in New Orleans uh, waiting for his arrival. Back here in New Orleans, the community comes together for both Zulu brothers. And when all else fails, let's wrap our arms around each other. Candace Charles, Eyewitness News. Services for Detective Briscoe have not yet been finalized, but we will, of course, keep you updated.